If it takes you more than five minutes to gather up all the statistical information from your company and put it into a statistical graph, you're doing something wrong. Hi everybody, Neil Winteregg here with Matterhorn Business Development. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, be sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you stay up to date on all of the current content. We've got a lot of great things in the works and I don't want you to miss a thing. Now, today we are going to talk about probably one of my biggest pet peeves with all businesses and all types and sizes that I run into because one for one, nobody keeps statistics about what is actually going on. And what I mean by that is that I go into a business and I say, how much money did we make? And everybody kind of has an idea or we know how much we made last year, but this is June and nobody knows where we're at for this year or they say, hey, let's uh, run this report. And uh, we go and we go into the CRM, we go into the computer, whatever, and we print out a report. And then it finally prints out a list of, uh, you know, businesses and how much money they paid us. And it's like, oh, this is how much money we've made. Okay, that is not how you keep statistics, all right? Now, I wrote a blog article about this uh, in December. It was about how to get started for the new year, I believe. So there should be a link below in the description that goes into my blog. But here's what I want you to know about statistics. Every business, whether it's one person as an entrepreneur or a company with 500 people or 1,000 people or even more, has got to have statistics. Now, in a perfect world, every individual that works at the company would have statistics and actual graphs which actually show you how much production you are getting done. Now, for a small business or even a medium-sized business, there are probably four or five key statistics that you have to start keeping track of. And not only do you have to keep track of these four or five statistics, you have to put them into graphs every week. Nowadays, everything is computerized. So there's actually a company that I work with called Envisage, and we actually log in every week and we upload all of our statistics into there and it automatically graphs it and we can scale it, we can go all the way back, et cetera, et cetera. There will be a link below on how you can sign up with Envisage because that's who I personally recommend. But let me give you the key statistics that you need to have right now in your business. All right, number one, income. How much money did we actually make? How much money actually came into the organization? You would call it gross income to represent the full amount, okay? Sometimes I see people that graph income just based off of how much profit was left over. That's not what we're talking about here. Profit, that's a whole nother discussion. We'll talk about that later. So, key statistic number one, gross income. How much money we actually made. Number two, how much of our product did we actually deliver? How many individual items did we put into people's hands? How many items did we ship? Whatever it might be, if you are a service-oriented business and I pay you $100 a week to cut my lawn, then your delivery is $100 after you cut my lawn. That is how much money you actually produced of your product. This helps you keep track of how much money you've made and how much money you've delivered or how much of your service you've delivered into the hands of the consumer. So where are we at? One, gross income. Two, product delivery or production, whatever it is that you might wanna call it. Number three, uh, promotion. How much mail or how much advertising did we actually get out into the hands of the people? Very important statistic. Next, new business. How many new customers did we actually sell something to, get their contact information for, and put into our contact or our CRM or whatever it is that you might be using? Each individual identity is a new customer that you can now market to and sell further products to. Most businesses do not even keep track of this and it is a disgrace. So you have got to be keeping track of how many new customers you've actually obtained identities for. So gross income, delivery, promotion or mail or any type of advertising that you do, new customers in the treasury area, you're gonna have to have a, a keeping track of how much bills you have. So your bills, how much money you have, and how profitable you are, that would be something that has to be tracked into there. Now for a very small business or an entrepreneur, those are the most basic statistics that you have got to start keeping. And I meet so many people, and I'm like, uh, how you doing, how much money have you made? You know, well, yeah, I think we're doing okay. And I get a lot of I thinks, and it feels, and it looks like, et cetera, et cetera. You cannot operate your business that way. So what you have to do is every week, tally up all of the numbers for each of those things I just told you about, put them into your Envisage stats, 
see it on the graph, look at how you did this week, and then set your goal for the next week. And the next week you have to work very, very hard. And every week you have to get into the habit of keeping statistics. Now at first when I go over with people with statistics, they go, oh my God, this is gonna take forever. It's gonna take me five hours a week to gather this information. Okay, the first time you do it, it should take a little bit of time to figure it out. But each week you actually tally everything up and keep your statistics. You should honestly be able to take all the information into Envisage, put your statistics into there in less than five minutes. If it takes you more than five minutes, you're doing something wrong and I will help you figure out what it is that you're doing wrong. It literally takes less than five minutes a week to track your statistics. And yet, without having it, you have no idea what's going on. So, I hope this helps. Be sure you click down below, go to Envisage to find out more about how you can keep your statistics. But I will help you personally with what statistics you should keep, how to keep them, how often to track them, et cetera, et cetera. If you get in touch with us at Matterhorn Business Development, I'll be sure to help you out with all that. Anyway, I will see you next time. I hope this was helpful.